start of a brand new week. Uh, I feel like the weekend just goes by too quick. Um, I thought the week went by really quick and I feel like the weekend went by faster, like it's almost over with. So um, yesterday I enjoyed a nice day at the pool uh, much needed um, and uh, today Sunday is always my laundry pick out my clothes for the week get everything ready clean etc so it's not really like a relaxing day but oh well there's some relaxation in between so but the point of my video is that it's, well, there's a couple of things. One, a serious point. Two, somewhat funny point um, or story. I don't know. Hard to tell. Nightmarish is, might be the classification for it. So, um, one thing is, um, I have been, um, on a workout journey for quite a bit and it's working because I have stability back. Um, my core is pretty strong. Um, like when I was doing crunches with the resistant bands, um, it was very hard for me and now I can do them without any type of issue. Uh, so I did like, and I cut out a lot of crud that I was eating during my recovery time and I'll just blame it on COVID too, cause why not? We blame everything on COVID, COVID weight. So, you know, I, you know, just was like, I don't know, it was like, um, I was not liking the direction I was going, so I, um, you know, decided to cut some crap out that I eat and, you know, working out, whatever, and I did that thing that you're not supposed to do, but I waited, like, a couple months and I got on the scale and I was happy because I was back down to my ideal weight and I was like okay so things are like working like I don't want to lose any more weight like I'm I'm stable so I want to keep on that and then I did the awful thing where it was like out of curiosity I got back on the scale and it was like showing four pounds heavier but I've not done anything different so it totally controlled my emotions and then I'm like stop looking at the stupid number like number one that is just stupid like if you feel that you have to weigh yourself do it once a month and don't put too much on it it's really on how well you feel um, if you're gauging it on your clothes, how they're fitting, you know, that's all that matters. And all clothing companies, their sizes are so completely different. So if you order a size small at one store, you might be medium at another store. So that's why I don't even give any weight towards sizes anymore because it's just completely different how they even come up with like small, medium, large, or even like zero, two, four, six, eight, just completely different. So I learned that a long time ago. I, I'm not putting any more thought into that. Just what I own, does it fit me? That's all I care about. So, and also, do I feel like I have like energy? Do I feel strong? That's what, <clears throat> I need to put weight into so um but it's just kind of like you know I just did like the wrong thing and like I, I realized I did the wrong thing 
And um, that's the point that we do slip up, but then you have to do a little recalibration of like, stop, that number doesn't dictate anything. Like I said, the only reason why I really am weighing myself is just to see is there somewhat of progress. Um, and it's only supposed to be like once a month, especially for females. Um, for males, you know, my husband's on a keto diet and has dropped like, um, I don't know, nine pounds in like two weeks. And for females to drop nine pounds, that's like, that's a year's worth of work. I don't understand why men can just, you know, oh, I've made some, no exercise either, by the way. It's just eating fatty foods. Like the one thing that I've learned my whole life, do not eat fatty foods. But the weight's just peeling down. So I, I'm not... Keto works for a lot of people. I strongly believe it. I don't want to insult people in the keto world. Um, for me, it doesn't work because I do not like any form of meat. Uh, it just doesn't work for me. Um, I don't even like milk. Um, I drink almond milk. Um, there's just... I. I just am not into animal food. I'm sorry. Uh, so, wrong diet for me. Just can't get on board with it. So, and I strongly believe in carbs um, and fruit and, like, you know, not candy sugar, but real sugar. It is fuel for your brain, and I learned that uh, back when I was working with a personal trainer before I start doing bodybuilding, you know, and um, at one point I was, you know, kind of teetering on the possibility of becoming a dietitian among a million things I wanted to be. So I bought this uh, huge dietitian book and it, it goes into like the important factors of what carbs play. So by eliminating carbs, I just, to me, it doesn't make any sense whatsoever. So, and you know, I admit that I'm a carb lover. I like bread, I like potatoes, um, but I have cut most of that out. Um, just because it's so heavy um so you know and fruit i would never i hate fruit but i love bananas are like my favorite thing in the entire world and you can never get i would never ever get rid of bananas i rely on them way too much uh even you know when i was you know, doing athletic stuff, like, that was fuel, that was potassium, that was good for me. And then, of course, you know, when I did bodybuilding, I slowly cut, like, almost everything out. I mean, you're just eating chicken, 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 chicken. That's why I have turned to being a vegetarian. Um, but also for different reasons. I'm an animal lover, so... Twofold. So, um, but to each their own. So if you eat meat, no problem, no judgment whatsoever. Me personally, that's the reason why I don't like eating meat. Um, it's also a texture thing. It's just kind of disgusting. Um, I don't know. I have texture issues. So, um, but one of the things that like I'm doing that I noticed that I need to cut out is I drink a ton of coffee. And um, when I was in working in the office, I had half a cup of this in the morning and then the rest of the day at work, I like had, you know, I drank water all day. 
And now that I'm home and at a coffee maker that's like two seconds away, I'm drinking so much coffee. And I'm not talking about just like coffee where we're like, you know, it's just straight. I'm talking like I'm putting creamers, I'm putting Splenda, I'm putting cinnamon in it. Not good, not good. Also, probably one of the reasons why I'm unable to sleep. So, because I'm drinking, and I kid you not, probably six cups of coffee. So, as I drink my coffee right now, it's disgusting habit. And tomorrow, I'm gonna ease my way into this. I'm gonna drink two cups of coffee, and then I'm gonna do one and a half, and then I'm gonna get to a half, and then I'm gonna get back to where it's just a little bit because for my migraines and stuff, I do require caffeine. Um, I don't like tea. Everyone's always suggested drink tea, but I'm not, I don't like tea. I've, I've given it a try. Um, if I'm at a restaurant, um, I will get iced tea with lemon, um, not sweet tea, but just regular tea and squeeze lemon in it. And I'm okay with that. But, um, I don't know, maybe I should buy like the bottles of tea maybe and just keep drinking it until I can get used to it. I just, I have to have caffeine for migraines. So, um, yeah, so I think that's also like kind of destroying all the work that I'm doing is all this like cups of coffee. And then I'm also like addicted to this trail mix that's from Target. And I also feel that that has done a number and I need to stop the trail mix. No, I don't need to stop the trail mix. I need just need to like self-control, like just scoop out like pre-made bags, like little baggies and like you have your baggie to enjoy your thing that you love and then that's it. So I don't know. I've given up candy uh, during the pandemic. I ate like a ton of gummy bears like it made me and gummy worms that like made me sick and um, like I said I I did it all because I had POTS and part of it was that autonomic dysfunction um, syndrome where like um, your body is in like fight mode at all times like a if you if your heart like skips a beat like you know normal people it's just a skip beat nothing there but for my body it's like oh my god and the whole body is in panic mode so like I I've talked about this several times it did a number of my metabolism where I was dropping weight left and right because it was an overdrive so I could eat whatever the heck I wanted and it did not matter and then after I had my stroke, suddenly that I still have POTS like getting up and down, but I don't feel like I have the autonomic dysfunction syndrome, not unless all the medication that I've been put on to help curb that is actually kicking in and helping. So metabolism is not fast anymore. So... I don't know. I don't know really in the grand scheme of things why I'm even caring about this. It's just like I am trying to figure out like it's like if it's not one thing that I like I worry about something and I conquer it and it's like okay well Wendy what's the next thing we can start worrying about and focusing on. It's self-sabotaging. It's just like, can you just be happy for once in your life and not overthink things? Like, this is the main issue that I'm getting to with everything I just said. Like, this is something I need to work on. 
it's like I identify issues that are bothering me and you know I fix it and then I'm like okay well what else can we dissect in your life that is an issue and how are we gonna solve that because I've been in problem-solving mode for so long since my stroke of you know trying to figure things out I haven't learned how to turn it off yet to where it's like okay Wendy like you have had a full year under your belt and I feel like I have a pretty like pretty good grasp on everything and it's like um you know let's breathe for a moment and just be in the moment and it's so hard it's very hard to turn that off after you've been in this mode of trying to figure things out for so long to just turn it off and so it doesn't even come in forms of stroke it comes into other forms of other things like I said working out um, you know and eating healthy that's not stroke related that's just like me getting back on like health and you know I'm if it's not that it's going to be something else and that is my thing like that's a goal of mine is I've got to just be like you are alive you've problem solved way too much in your life like within a year I feel like I've got a good grasp on it I feel like mentally I am prepared for whatever's thrown at me. Do I have moments of weakness? Yes, we all do. What, Whether you have a stroke or not, it's called being human. I understand that. But it's like, just breathe. Be in the moment. So that's why like I was just really disturbed by like my little weight thing that I did. It's like, well, why are you doing this to yourself? Like, you know, you're, you gauge, like you're doing all this work and you know, you said a thing saying, okay, I'm just going to weigh myself once a month. And you did it and you know it was like whatever and you know you were happy because you were making progress but then all of a sudden you decide to uh, stray off and weigh more than once a month and especially I will tell you when I weighed myself it was after being at the pool yesterday where a I've been drinking a ton of water and you know Gatorade calorie free and um you know being in the sun it just bloats you and it's like why do you get on a scale after that that's stupid why i i don't get it like wh why and then i remembered i was like that's because my husband got on the scale and was like oh i lost more weight and i was like hmm i wonder what i weigh Stupid move. Men and women cannot compare journeys on weight loss. And I'm not even trying to lose weight. I'm just, like right now, what I weigh, I'm happy with. I'm trying to maintain that weight. I'm not trying to go below and I'm not trying to go above. That's all. So, you know, and to be more fit too. And also I've got to look at it as, okay, so you're working out more and muscle weighs more than fat. So some of it, it could be muscle because like my leg muscles are like really starting to get very defined because generally most of my workouts are focused on legs. I have not tackled my arms yet because I don't like it. I will get to it someday. Someday it will come to me where I'm like, let's get onto the, the arms next, you know. 
And, and I need to because I bought this like faux yeti thing and I couldn't untwist it. I, yeah, I needed my husband. And I was like, oh God, what's wrong with you? You used to be able to open things. So, I mean, if you want me to kick something down, I can do it. But opening a jar? Yep. So, that's kind of where I'm at. So, I just have to be in the moment. I have to be in the moment. And it's like, um, you know, there's other things in my life that just um, seem so up in the air, you know, right now about things. And um, because it's out, of, like, because I don't know, I think what I'm doing is I'm playing that control piece where I'm like, okay, so... I have no control over like what's going to happen next in a certain situation that I am desperately trying to like find something to control to feel a sense of control and I think a lot of us go through that but I definitely have issues with that I have a control issue like if I don't feel like I know what's going on or you know whatever like I will find something to where I feel like I am in control so um, you know with my work there's just a lot of unknowns going on right now and you know I can say I'm excited for the direction that we are going in. I'm scared because I don't know what direction we're going in. Um, I, I just don't know. And, and there's other layers to it. So I'm just kind of like, um, you know, I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know. So I guess that's kind of the other part of it, so. And this is me not taking my own advice that I cannot stress about something that has not happened yet. I am like wasting all of this journey or, or emotion and, and energy on something that I don't even know that's happened or will happen. So that is something I'm working on. I've got to get that down. So. So, I don't know. So the other part is I am going to start writing my book because I feel like I finally have enough information. So last night I like went through my blogs. So it won't be my blogs as the book. It's just kind of like um what I went through and like so I just kind of laid it out and then I'll write like in like book form um but and it but it will be chronological so um it's not like you know um here's this chapter on this like I want someone to read it in a chronological order of everything that I went through so I will have a book where I'm emotional and then I'm happy and then I'm emotional. I want that reader to feel that experience of yo-yo effect. So I don't know how long that's going to take me. I don't know. Who knows? I still plan on blogging though because there are things that I do want to talk about. I will still do videos. This is just something extra to do you know on the side I just want to make sure this book is like perfect because um, I've looked at um, stroke books and there's some really great ones out there and I just thought it'd be nice to have you know a perspective on my particular stroke at my age 
and um, you know I didn't have the deficits except for the short-term memory um, mine was more of a, a mental health journey and so I want to tap on that because I think that was kind of the missing like part of it where it was in some of these books it's like a little piece but this is like all encompassing of mental health so that's where I'm going with that one so a lot of things to do on the side to keep me busy for a while so I'm excited for it I truly like all I want to do is just help anyone out and just understand like this sucks this really really sucks but it can also be really really wonderful if you mold it correctly and to mold it correctly you gotta have the right tools and know what you're molding so learning experience it's very beneficial so but that's kind of my update on you know what's been going on lately so um i was gonna do my funny thing but i think i'll save that for my a short one for just like a few minute thing separate from this so really this is just like an update video of like kind of what's going on so i do have um a blog partially finished so I'll release that and soon I, I don't give deadlines anymore I just say that it's in the process of being worked on I just don't want people to forget like there it's still there it's still you know I'm never gonna stop it ever so because things change so and every day someone new encounters this so I don't know but anyways that is my update for what's going on thus far um this is my rare time where I have the house to myself that I can you know do a video um like <laughs> I don't know if I've said it in other videos I can't remember but I do a lot of videos where I'm when I'm driving and um, like where I park at, you know whatever at stores and you know I'll do like update videos but there's always like people that walk by and see what I'm doing and seriously just totally ruin it so I'm just like how can you see in my car I haven't washed my car in a while like the back window is so dirty Plus, I thought those videos would be pretty because it's like, you know, you, you can see like the beautiful little area that I live in as I drive. So, uh, one of these days it'll get posted, but it's been a few times where I can do an update. So, I hope everyone is doing good. Again, feel free to reach out to me if you have any questions about anything um I'm here to answer anything um use me as a tool for whatever and I hope you guys have a good week and um you know it feels like things are starting to get back to normal in at least in my area where we're like feels like before COVID hit. So and that's something to celebrate. It's just refreshing to go into stores without a mask and doing things and vaccinated. So, I mean, you don't want to get vaccinated. That's your own thing. I know I never tell people 
wear a mask, don't wear a mask, vaccinate, don't vaccinate, whatever, because that's your personal decision. I'm just saying, like, I'm vaccinated, so, like, I have that liberty of being able to go into stores now without a mask and so forth. So, um, it's kind of nice, but like I said, life is starting to get back to normal, like, um, you know, baseball games, more capacity, soccer games. Um, we have a great soccer team and a really great soccer stadium. So, um, you know, people are, are, are back at it, you know, and then, um, downtown Kansas city, we have first Fridays and that's kind of where people do like art stuff and, you know, you just walk around and do fun things. And last year it was totally not feasible to do. And yes, or two days ago was the first Friday that we've had since COVID where, you know, people could do stuff. So it, it's just like so nice, like to see things like slowly get back to normal. Like it just like feels great. So I don't know. I don't know how it is where you guys are at, but I, I feel good where we are. I feel good. So and for the most part, everyone's been pretty respectful about, you know, like, no one's mask shaming someone for wearing a mask in the store. And no one's really shaming someone for not wearing a mask. Um, but I live, you know, in an area where, you know, generally people are just very nice. You know, we're one of those people where... You're driving and a car needs to get through, you know, you kind of slow down, let that car like get through and everyone waves. So we're just like kind of a, a friendly area. So I always say I want to move somewhere warm, but that's something I got to remember. Like I live in a very friendly state and a very friendly like city. Um, I live in the suburbs though, but you know, just everyone's just so nice. So it's very nice to see. So that's one of the reasons why I want to stay because it's just, I don't know. When we go to different states and we drive around, I just notice like everyone's like everyone man for themselves where it's like for us, it's like, sure, we'll let you in. Thank you. Okay, great. So not to say we don't have crazies. We do. We have crazies. But for the most part, it's good. So, but have a good week, guys. Yeah.